Welcome to Good Mythical More. Which pizza chain has the best garlic butter sauce? We're gonna taste them and we're gonna tell you. Once and for all. We're gonna rank them and then be revealed what they are because we don't, we don't need to know. But first we're gonna give a $30 mythical.com gift card to Jules Pavayo or Paval, Pavayo. How do you say that Paveo. last name? Paveo. Any hints? Jules, let's Jules. just go with Jules. <laughs> you rep that mythical merch in the wild, you put that hashtag merchicality with it, we might find cool. you. If we do, we'll give you $30 in the mythical.com store. In a sunflower field, wearing our sunflower merch, get you more merch. Changes up our hair color, that's, you know, keep them guessing, oh, yeah. Jules. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I right. a breadstick. These you know? are, Generic breadsticks. They're not from any of the pizza places. We sent somebody out completely blindfolded to buy them. They didn't even know where they were going. They just went outside, held their hands out, and yelled, breadsticks! So that it's consistent. Yeah. And I think what I'm gonna do is, I'll just break tear, off a tear piece. and dip? Tear and dip. Because you wanna get it to soak some up. Start with our number one. Oh, they, well, there's one for each of us anyway, so. Yeah. I don't want that. Very good, very garlicky. Hmm. Very well shaken. <laughs> but very, maybe it's just very homogenous by, by default. Because that number be four is not homogenous at yeah, all. This one's, this one's kind of like separated. And I think I bit. know where that's from because of that. This one has a different container, which. I think I know where that's from because of that. But I'm actually going to go for a different piece here. For my second one. Hmm. Not nearly as good. A much lighter flavor, but also a little bit more of a manufactured flavor. Yeah, like it, one's can, better than two. Definitely, if I go back. Oh, and like getting getting way better because two is getting way worse. One is very buttery and very garlicky. Two is this tastes natural. This tastes unnatural. Yeah. So we're gonna move this one. You wanna pick, we, the plates are numbered so we can put them back, we can uh, start to put them out of order and rank them. We're or gonna, we can just keep them on the plate. This one says number one, so this is currently number one and this is currently number two. I don't wanna pick everything up and move it because then I'll spill something and you'll get upset and then I'll be upset and then we'll have to worry okay. about dry well, cleaning. Also, this one's currently number one even though it should, yeah, this is right, so this should so be I'm number saying, one. I'm saying this should go down here. Yeah, we know that's gonna. Number, plate number two moves down to fourth place. Plate number two is awful. This is different. I mean, this looks like a Zaxby's dip container. This is much creamier, doesn't have a lot of like straight up oil in it. Ooh. This is a totally different thing. That's strange. I, it, I it don't taste- It like salad any, dressing. Don't taste any garlic. It tastes like salad dressing. Well, it's very thin. That's I think that's why you're saying salad dressing. It's thin, but it's, it's thin, but has more cream than butter. You know what I'm saying? It's not buttery. Yeah, it. It's not a bad sauce, but it's not good in this category. It's not as bad as four. No, no, it doesn't taste fake and horrible. So we're putting plate number two is last. I'm predicting plate number three becomes stays at third, and now for the first time we I will think this plate is plate number four. I think this is Papa John's. Not only because I don't even care. It's a little bit uh, shallower of a container, but oh, that is whoa, that is it's thick. So they are they're the originators of this. And no, it's really, really buttery. This is not Papa John's. It, there's no way Papa John's is this. Thick. Oh, you know what? This is Domino's. This is Papa John's. It's coming down to these two. This is so butter. thick. It's like a, it's like a stick of butter almost. It tastes tasty, but it's, it it doesn't have the punch, you know, of garlic. If we didn't sit here and eat these breadsticks and dip them in these little ramekins, or whatever you call this. You just wouldn't even, uh, you'd be lost in life. You'd be like, I don't know which one's the best. I have, I, I, don't, I, I mean, I don't know. 
I mean, I've never just sat down and tasted them all. I mean, I've never done this. I did I did order Papa John's and Domino's in one night uh, because our family got in a fight about it and I was trying to be the hero, but I didn't do this part of it. There's and I so was the much hero. garlic in number one. I might say there's too much garlic. Well, here's the thing. What, number one also has, is saltier. It, everything is contained in number one to have a complete experience no matter what you're dipping, what type of breadstick you're dipping in it. Number I prefer, two. I prefer number two. Number two requires the breadstick to bring the salt and even a little garlic. I think this is, to, I, I, I'm not I definitely it's prefer not, number one. I prefer this because it feels like grandma said, I'm making garlic butter for y'all. It's a, it's, a, it's a Friday night. But it's not nearly as garlicky. That one's over it's, twice as garlicky. It's too garlicky in my mind. I'm saying it's taking, now all I'm getting is garlic, and maybe there's already garlic on the thing. I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying that if you have to put me in a corner. Oh my gosh. Don't put baby in a corner, but if you do, she's gonna pick the one that's more like butter. <clears throat> Can you tell us what is what we think is the worst one? Well, I was gonna, I mean, you're, you're clearly split on which one you prefer better, but I heard some Papa John's being tossed around and I just didn't know if you agreed on that point, like which uh, one you- Yeah, Papa we John's, agree this is Papa Domino's. John, Domino's. Uh, what, what are the other two options? Little Caesars and- uh, Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut, Little Pizza Caesars. Hut. Pizza Hut. That's yeah. what I think it is. What been... if I told you <laughs> that you are incorrect about which one is Papa John's? Would that blow your mind? Yeah. So you're telling Definitely. me that this is Papa John's, the one that's super buttery? That's Papa John's. Papa yeah. John's. Papa John's. I was trusting it's you Papa because John's. you seemed like super authoritative about I've it. I've never seen it that thick. And this is Domino's. That's not Domino's, and I think your mind's gonna be blown at this one, Link. Because, I mean, of all of the choices, is there one that you Little wouldn't Caesars. normally order? Yeah. That's Little, Little Caesars. Caesars has the, according to you, has the, I think Papa John's has the best sauce. Little Caesars, and it, they have the crazy bread too. So it's like, they're, they got their dip game on a lot. So and, what and to further blow your minds, the ones that you hated, the one that, that was the worst, that's Domino's. That's Domino's? Yeah, yeah. And this is Pizza Hut. Yep. Yeah, Domino's is Pizza not Hut's good. Word, word, I'm, I, I mean, wow. Yeah. So again, yeah, the, still not good, still bad. What I was thinking originally before I felt swayed by you, if you felt ah. authoritative on that, the originators of the butter are still the, the ones who are the best and they're doing it the right way. Everybody else is doing a saucy imitation of it. Uh, nope, Little Caesars is, is the best. You need to, if you haven't tried it, you need to try it. And, and keep it around next time you order something besides Little Caesars, which will happen. If you don't like garlic, you're gonna be mad that this, was, this suggestion was given to you. Wow, <sighs> Domino's has really disappointed us. Now, but list, where are Come these? Come on, guys. Where are these breadsticks from, Stevie? Uh, how long can I go, uh, before <laughs> somebody tells me where they're from? The store. What? The store. The store. Thank you, Nicole. They're good. Hey, we're running a promotion on mythical.com and I want you to miss, uh, we thought, why, why save um, the, f what Black Friday? That's what it's called. Why save Black Fridays for one day out of the year when you can have it the, the last Friday of every month for one item at, uh, am I being confusing? Yes, let me yeah, start yeah. over. All right, every Friday that is the last, I'm still being confusing. The last Friday of every month yeah. at mythical.com, we're gonna pick one item mm -hmm. that you don't know what it is and we're gonna make it 40% off. For the whole weekend, not for just the whole the Friday, weekend through the, through Sunday. If you're a Mythical Society member, we'll tell you ahead of time what that product is going to be. Yeah. So you can get it forty percent off the last Friday of each month. And we're calling them Good Mythical Fridays. Good Mythical Fridays. It's like a Black Friday at the end of every month. And maybe for one item. Maybe you'll wear jeans to work that day. I I mean I I'm not going to argue if you're going to do casual Fridays. Little season. I don't know. Is every you know? No, people are going back to work. Is it is it like? Casual Fridays is every day? Yeah. I mean, you're wearing jeans. I'm wearing jeans. We should put that in the handbook that jeans on Friday. <laughs> put that in the employee handbook, jeans okay? Jeans is like when we dress up. <laughs> yeah. All Not right. This office. Shorts mandatory on Fridays. Ooh. I don't think I don't. I, yeah, I hear a lot of ooh from women Short uh, for multiple for multiple reasons. Mandatory I'm sure. shorts. 
Uh, oh crap! I didn't. I didn't even hit your compliments either. Oh, you know, I'm not. We a, got so, I'm not a needy person, so I didn't bring it up. I was just. Yeah, here's another reason it, to still be here. I was going to see if it was going to happen naturally. You know, I got to give you 30 seconds of compliments. I don't like to fish for compliments. And the mythical uh, writing team has given me th some thought starters. Hmm. Um, you know, first I just want to start my timer, please. I don't want this to last any longer. <laughs> start my timer. Okay, you have 30 seconds starting now. I would like to compliment your um, sense of humor. Okay. You really know when I've said something funny. Oh. And, um, That's right. You know, you have a sense of, of things being funny that I've said, and I appreciate that. That feels like a double, like you dipped, double dipped, went to the same thing twice, which was about you, really. <clears throat> I would like to... Um, 15 seconds. I'd like to compliment your, your teeth. Um, it, you know, they stay, they stay hidden. <laughs> Always. You mean these? <laughs> I think. Uh-huh. Well, look at them, there they are. They're straight. Uh-huh. Uh, I'd like to comment Time's up. your arm hair. Time's up. That's it. Oh man, I wanted to hear some I'll more. I'll give you compliment. some more. You deserve it. I really love the way you get up out of a chair. Look at that. He leans forward, center of gravity, pops up, and then he sits. Always back stay down. facing the camera? Yep. Never turn yep. your back to the camera? I just want to compliment you on your pants now that I can see them. They cover your entire leg in a way that a Casual Friday short never could. I don't know if you can see on camera, but there's a slight distressed quality to them as if they were washed many times. I'll just, let me, just so you can see, I'll just get right over the mic. <laughs> just. So what is happening? Just trying to show my jeans off. I, I want to compliment the distressed nature of your jeans. Thank you. I miss you, Rick. Oh. <laughs> miss you too, Charles. Take advantage of good Mythical Friday discounts every fourth Friday at mythical.com.